Should the government take the broom to crappy leg room? The House passed a 2,000 page bill that would require the FAA to make some changes to the way we fly, including minimum requirements for seat sizes and leg room, Tyrus. Because let's face it, airline seats are getting tighter than bike shorts on a hippo. <laughs> Trust me, my hippo hates putting them on. But I love watching him take him off. <laughs> Enough with the hippo stuff. Leg room is shrinking, even I've noticed, and I don't have that much leg. <laughs> now, I know we're a very divided nation, but we can all agree flying sucks. But should government be in charge of this? And if they think they can handle leg room, why not the slapdash boarding process or the super tiny bathrooms? I can't even read in there. <laughs> Try to read it like the Wall Street Journal, your hands or try like that, it's impossible. Here, or the food, yeah, let's talk about the food. Here's a video I took of my flight attendant trying to cook my eggs. Oh man, I burned my mouth on that. All right, I, go, I have to go to you, Tyrus, for no apparent reason. Oh, I don't know why reason. you size this pig. <laughs> Hey, everybody, Greg has a hard time fitting in the bathroom at the airplane. Does anyone really feel sorry for him? You know, like, um, for real, he could you... live in that as an apartment. Like, Look. Listen, this is a serious thing. Would you, would you want government you intervention? Know, you need to be quiet because this is serious. I don't, if this was an issue about having the little thing to help you sit with your feet right on the toilet, I would not talk bad about you. Potty, what what's that called? Potty pal? Yeah, if it was about potty pals, I would be quiet and respectful to your plight that your feet don't touch the ground when you use the bathroom. I get it. But this is a, thank you. Like, how dare you? I have actual footage of me suffering in an airplane. Yes. Try, I know it would take two of your feet to be in one of my shoes. Look at that. By the way, the evasive bastard who took that picture was none other than Greg Gutfeld. That's true. No privacy. No privacy. Look at that. That's first. And someone's like, yo, they, Fox doesn't fly you first class? That is first class. <laughs> There's even one that shows the way I sleep. Most people, look at that, I have to lean to the side. It's, it's brutal, so normally, like my libertarian friend Cat over here, mm -hmm. I don't like government and nothing, but if Uncle Sam's gotta get in, so give me out the jam, I'm with it. Like, <laughs> help me out. All right, that's, I, Cat, am, can't be a hypocrite about libertarian beliefs, as you know. Yes. Uh, I hate big government unless they do things that I like. Sure. So, what about you? I am not a hypocrite. I think that if an airline wanted to exist where they just like stack people on each other's laps and it was cheaper, I think that would be a great alternative. <laughs> I think that they should be able to do whatever you want. I think that you should be able to fly people in planes without seats where you just Stand. meander about and vape. I think that that should be allowed. I, I don't like that the government tells me that I have to put on my seat belt mm -hmm. because of the turbulence. I am a grown ass woman. <laughs> I can handle my own turbulence how I want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, the planes are a little cold for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. They're always a little cold. I always have to wear socks uh, under my sandals. Oh, terrible. And people say, Kat, why don't you just wear tennis shoes? Well, because then I have to untie them mm -hmm. and take them off because of, you know, the TSA infringing upon my rights right, every time right, I want right. to travel. And uh, I'm 29 and I am too old to have the energy to do that already. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. This is worse than watching Old Yeller hearing her problems on air. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying tears from my heart. Yes. It's chilly. It's um, chilly. It's, I it's feel as though things. I'm in a tundra. <laughs> you would be if you didn't have your seatbelt on when the turbulence hit. You're like a what? 68 pounds soaking wet and with I, one of my shoes, you'd be bouncing over the plane without a little seatbelt. I, I prefer to leave my seatbelt unbuckled and I put a blanket over my head and I vape underneath just to prove to myself that I am still free. Well, you know what? Uh, you, you truly are revolutionary. Uh, um, Char Char Charlie, it scares me that regulations do more harm than good. Like, there, there's a limit for stewardesses for 10-hour shifts. That means if you're on the tarmac, right, and you're about to take off, but it, let's say it's, it's delayed for 45 minutes, and it's past a stewardess's shift, they could probably turn around and dump you. Oh, totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I despise the airlines. I despise all airlines. 
Um, it's why I, I, I would drive, I, I'd make a 12 hour drive easy uh, yeah. to avoid having to get into an airplane. Mm. Uh, but the only people that could actually make the... <laughs> 12 uh, uh, hours with you? It, oh God. <laughs> anyway, sorry. The, the only thing that could, uh, that could make things worse than, a, than an airline would be the federal government. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but everybody complains about TSA. I, am I the only one who likes to go through TSA? I don't mind what? it. Yes. I love yes, it. You yes, you are. You are I don't are. mind it. In some air, some airports, they're fantastic, and other ones are just angry. But most of the guys are pretty good, and they're fans of this show. So remember that when you <laughs> when you start feeling me up. Yeah. I like you said. Sometimes they'll put things in my pockets. <laughs> All right, Madison. What do you make of this? All about extra room, mm -hmm. but I don't want the regulation. Yeah. Capitalism works. If the planes start getting seats that are too small for people to sit on, people aren't going to fly those exactly. airlines anymore. So it's all going to work itself out. But let me just say one thing, back to what both, pretty much everyone's been saying, the airlines are terrible. Mm. This isn't going to make them better. Even if I'm sitting in a seat that's a little bit bigger, I'm still getting water dripped on my head half the time. Uh, I've been flying a lot lately. Everything is a mess. I like Nothing the, works. The water thing, I actually told They're them. They're not nice. I, I notified them that there was water <laughs> dripping, and they go, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, sat, I sat down. Condensation. By the way, here's my theory on, on why people are so hostile when they fly. Did anybody ever see the movie Snowpiercer? No. No. <laughs> I know there are people that don't. So it's, it, it, we are developing a class system where depending on how much you pay is how much comfort you get. And that's what's happening to the airlines. It's just like Snowpiercer, which was a, tr a segmented capsule divided by wealth. I know they're rapping me because I'm talking about something nobody watched. <laughs> Go see Snowpiercer. That's the way the airlines are coming up. All right.